game three of this clan war between the Confederation and Wargaming. Now officially underway and spawning in the bottom left hand corner, the captain for Confed. It is Daedalus. And the top right hand corner looking to avenge uh, the loss of his uh, his teammate in the game prior against Daedalus. It's a blue Terran player. Gente. Yes. Well, we saw the captain last game show off his colors as captain and beating, taking revenge for his fallen Cameron, and try to make this a two-win streak for himself. So we'll see if he can do it on Yansu. A really, yeah, I, I, of course, a, uh, a, it's a, a two-spawn map, so you know exactly where your opponent is. It's a bit of a smaller map. It means that uh, if Chente is so inclined, he can, um, you know, he might be able to try something a little little uh, fancy if he puts his thinking cap on and he can think left and think right and think low and think high and know the things you can think up if only you try and Gosh, I'm sure it. he is trying as hard as he can to uh, think of a strategy to take down this red Zerg player who looked very strong for uh, for confed in the prior game yeah besides the dr seuss rhymes going on um What's that, what dr seuss rhymes i don't know but i know those are dr seuss they I'm sound not, like it. They, they're they're rhyming. Not sure. <laughs> not sure what you're talking. I was rhyming. You were rhyming. Oh wow. That you sounded like rhyming. a rhyme to me. <laughs> but uh, Reaper opener coming out for Chente. Twelve racks followed by the twelve barracks. It's a fifteen hatchery going down for Daedalus. And uh, well, it'll, we'll see how many uh, a how many Reapers Chente makes, and B we'll see how many kills they get. I'm going to pray that he makes his three Reapers. So He's not going to make three because he didn't go 11-11. He went 12-12, which means the Reapers would get there too late. z -mick. <laughs> Sorry, I had to tease you about it. You didn't tease me. I teased you. Bam. The, Bam. Ca the counter tease. But we have a natural, or pretty normal play from Daedalus. 15-15, uh, 16 gas. Pretty normal uh, for a Zerg player, and it looks like he's two Reaper opener for a Shante. Chante. Nothing too mighty. Out. The Queen uh, will be started as soon as spawning pool is done. And uh, one set of Lings. So the Queen will pop out just after this Reaper gets in. So he'll have some opportunities, and it'll take some fancy micro from Daedalus to avoid some kills. And generally, as a Terran player, if you get two kills with your Reaper, that's, like, awesome. Um, he's got to be careful, though, not to get surrounded here. Daedalus actually a little bit a little bit sloppy with the surround and doesn't end up getting it. But he scares the Reaper off, and that should delay enough time for this Queen to pop out. Yep. One Ling might uh, go down if he's not careful here, but the Queen's out right now. And, uh, well, that'll send the Reaper home. So no units lost here for Daedalus, uh, which is very nice for him. And we'll him, uh, actually, did he lose a link? He lost he, a link he, somewhere. No, did he lose a link? He did lose yeah. a link. And the units lost Tabby, did I? For some reason, I didn't see it. But, um, yeah, there's not going to be too much that this, uh, this Reaper can do. Now the links gonna, are going to come over to the other side of the map, try to delay this command center. But the second Reaper pops out just in time. And, uh, wow, I didn't realize these Reapers have those little like stars on their shoulders that's like the same thing as uh, next to the command center. That's pretty cool. I've never yeah, seen right. that before. I've never seen that before. That's pretty cool. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Are there new things ever done? The reactor goes down on the barracks factory. Uh, this is interesting. This is a mistake. The factory is supposed to go down on the reactor with the tech lab being built on the barracks. <laughs> there he goes. Um, little Miss Micro there for him. Just a bit of confusion. On uh, Chente's side, Daedalus on the other hand, though, getting his speed. He's uh, left one drone in just to gather a little bit of gas, and he's looking to transition nicely into a mid-game. Probably going to take a relatively early third here, as he's only got one gas and nine more drones in the production tab. Yeah, playing it safe. Um, Hollyans are being produced, so they'll be down there um, after six or eight. And Daedalus should be able to, will be ready for the Hellions to be approaching. One Reaper, two Hellions making their way down. Going to wait for more to come. 
I think Chente is actually going to go for a timing push here. He's going to go for the three barracks with the combat shield. This is a variation of a build that uh, I've seen quite a bit with Stim. It's a little different, though, because combat shield uh, is 60 seconds quicker to research than Stim is. So you can hit, well, in theory, a minute faster. So it's basically just going to be a bunch of Hellions and a bunch of combat shield Marines. You'll see he'll produce five at a time off the two barracks of the reactor. And with Daedalus taking this early third, uh, those Marines are pretty beefy. And uh, with Hellions to boot as well, he's going double evolution chamber. It's a pretty, uh, it's not super greedy, but it's a, a mid to late game oriented build from Daedalus. He's getting a Baneling Nest down, which will help. But, um, well, I think this game will be decided actually relatively early on here. If Daedalus can hold, it'll put him in a wonderful position uh, moving forward. Whereas Chente, uh, <clears throat> well, he is getting a, a third behind this, but... All these hell three Hellions are going here. down. A fourth getting ready to go down. Four Hellions and a Reaper have been lost. Three Hellions and a Reaper have been lost so far. Working on the fourth one right about now. Down does go the fourth one, and that might be enough, actually, to stop this push from Daedalus, and, or from Chente, I should say, and... Um, no, that's a rough spot for him to be in because he basically built these barracks and these reactors uh, before the command center, and he delayed his command center, he delayed his engineering base to get these two extra barracks, and now he's not even going to really be able to push. Command center is a good couple minutes later, and well, Daedalus can very calmly uh, continue to drone up. He's getting his layer. It's halfway done. One one is halfway done. Um, macro hatch is a uh, quarter of the way done. Yeah, the macro hatch is going down. So he's he's put himself in a very nice position, uh, moving into the the mid to late game here. Yep. On the other side, the uh, the double engineering bays are finished, and one one is being started. Going to be quite a bit behind, and there still uh, is no starport anywhere on the map. So uh, medevacs are still a ways away here for the Terran army. And, uh, I mean, until those come out, Chente really doesn't want to push out. He's still uh, a minute away from Stimpak as well, but he's going to kind of be stuck in his base until he gets medevacs because uh, you need them in order to continue kind of your pushes. Otherwise, every time you stim, you, you, your army doesn't get healed back up, obviously, so you, you lose health and, and durability quite quickly. Yeah. Starport now going down. It's already on the reactor, so in about another minute and a half... Um, medevacs will be started two at a time. Um, some a lot of zerglings just surrounding the Zolnaga Tower just to see what uh, what's going on. And it looks like Shantae is going to be a little risky here before the medevacs are ready and destroy the rocks to get his third established to try to get back into this game. Yeah, I mean that's something he obviously has to do is kill kill the rocks, and it's not like he's out of this game um, at all or like really behind, he's just in a position where he can't establish map presence, which puts him in a dangerous position against a Zerg player like Daedalus, who's now just very calmly transitioning into uh, what looks like it's, I mean, it looks like he ultimately wants to get to Ultras, he's getting uh, a very quick 2-2, two -two his uh, infestation pit is almost done, which means the Hive will probably be on the way at some point soon uh, to unlock the 3-3, three -three. and uh, well, the Spire is done now, and it does get scanned, but it's 10 more drones coming out here. That'll put him up to 72 drones to the 52 SCVs of his opponent. And, uh, again, that's a pretty comfortable spot to be in if you're the Zerg player with this massive army as well. Yeah. There are a lot of Zerglings and a couple Banglings, but with a couple nice um, Widowmite shots, they could easily clean this up. So this could be easily holdable by Shantae if done right. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think Daedalus should necessarily push in here unless he wants to try and snipe this third orbital with Banelings. He's certainly got enough to do it, but um, he's can, he's just droning behind this. So I think he he just wants to establish map presence. I would actually not advise a push like this uh, for Daedalus. Although he no. does have uh, the overseers for the widow mines and all that fun stuff, and there goes a ling to to bait some of those out. A couple more lings go down. And, well, now the Banelings come in after the Widow Mines on Burrow. A couple big shots go off into the mineral line they go. They'll kill off, well, one SCV and a missile turret, and that's really it. So Daedalus still continues to hold at the Watchtower. Nine mutas in the production tab. The Hive on the way as well with 2-2 now finishing up for the Zerg player with 2-2 halfway done. 
for the Terran. So yeah, Daedalus has the upgrade lead. He's getting his fast hive for, like you said, fast ultras, which is presumably presumably going to be the choice for with the fast hive. Um, plus one air attack is happening with the mutas just now popping out. So Daedalus is pretty with the fourth now done. The, um, Daedalus is pretty is playing s a little bit. I don't want to say he's playing safe. He's he has map control or had map control. He's, he's safe right now. He's in, I think he's in a good position. Yeah, his hive is done. His 3-3 three, three should be starting any moment. There it goes. And uh, we will see if it is an ultraless cavern or whatever it is coming down. But now with a four base, uh, Zerg player, the scan goes down. Chente confirms that it's four bases. Those gases should be taken uh, momentarily. And well, here come the mutas. They bait out a stim from these marines, which is which is nice to moral, moral victory, I guess. And they, they'll take some damage, but it's nothing, obviously, game-ending, since they'll just regenerate uh, those uh, those health bars. Yep. Um, Ultralist Cabin, halfway done. It's That was the choice for a quick hive, so well called, by, well, play, or well called by you. And so we should see Ultrads on the field pretty soon. He has enough gas for, like, three or four. But Shantae, Shantae is getting really close to do a nice pushing in with all the oh, Widow Mines! That's a huge Baneling hit, getting all but one of the Widow Mines. The last one getting cleaned up. Now the Link's streaming forward. Daedalus smells blood in the water. He's trying to close these Marines. Pretty decent Baneling hits. The Baneling's still rolling in, even though they're off creep. The split's just not there for Chente. Once those uh, Widow Mines went down, that was pretty much it. For that push, Daedalus reinforces with six ultras. He still has a pretty formidable uh, ground force. Just seven mutas, but that's really all he needs here. He doesn't he doesn't need a ton of mutas. The uh, the hurt he's going to lay on this army is going to come from the ground. Yep. He's up 180 supply to 113 with 3-3. Three, three, almost, uh, almost finish about, uh, well, I guess 90 seconds away. Whereas 3-3 three, three hasn't even been started on Daedalus' or on uh, Chente's side. And three star ports like, go, go down. That looks like... What uh, Chente thinks he needs. I wonder if he's going to go for like Banshees or Battle Cruisers or something like that. Or maybe he thinks that uh, it's going to be a greater spire. Mm -hmm. and he's just trying to get some Vikings out. That would be a bit of a mistake, but. Well, Daedalus is in a uh, pretty good spot here. He's sacrificed basically three Mutalisks to, to eat those Widow Mine shots, but now there are no Widow Mines left on the field. The Ultras. Screaming forward, 3-3 is not done yet. Still 30 seconds away, but he seems comfortable enough to try and fight this. The Ling's going to the mineral line. They're wreaking havoc there. The Widow my or the uh, Banelings, the Ultra's streaming up towards the natural. The Banelings getting pretty good detonations off. Trying this uh, desperately is Chente, but the losses are uh, looks like well pretty significant here for the War Terran player. 167 supply to 85. Daedalus looks like he's about to give uh, Confed a lead in this clan war, and back and forth they go in these two sides. Yeah, there's not much Chante to do with more reinforcements being rolling in. Six more Ultras on the way, three are still alive. GG is called. And we have a victory for our Captain Daedalus.